In this pencast, we show how to solve an exercise where we are given the power spectral density of a random signal X and we are asked to find its uh, uh, spectral factorization. But before we go into the details of the workout, let's review first some fundamental concepts. Uh, recall the world's representation theorem, which is also known as the innovation representation of a random signal. Uh, this theorem states that any causal stationary random signal can be written as the sum of two components, one deterministic and one stochastic. This equivalent to representing the random signal as the output of a linear time invariant system. The system needs to be causally stable and is driven by white noise. This means that the power spectral density of the input is flat at a constant given by the variance of the input noise. The spectral factorization problem tries to answer the following question. Can we determine the system function L of Z by knowledge of the power spectral density of the output or equivalently its uh, autocorrelation function and that the input is white noise? If this is the case, then we can decompose the power spectral density of X as the product of the input uh, power spectral density, which is given by the variance of the input noise, multiplied by the magnitude response squared of the system function. However, multiple systems can have the same magnitude response, and therefore the answer to this question is not unique. So, in order to find the spectral factorization, we need to make additional constraints on L of Z, which is also known as the innovation filter. The first constraint is that the system is minimum phase. Moreover, in order to avoid any ambiguity uh, in the scaling factor, we also constrained the first coefficient of the filter to be equal to 1. So, in summary, finding the special factorization of a certain uh, power spectral density means find, finding the innovation filter L of Z and the variance of the input noise. Uh, in this way, we can decompose uh, the power spectral density in this form. And if we focus the attention to systems with only real uh, poles and zeros, we can also simplify this in this way. So back to the exercise, we want to find the noise variance and the innovation filter. And the first thing we want to do is to rewrite this uh, rational polynomial in a polynomial in Z. To do so, we can use Euler's formula to rewrite the cosine as uh, Z uh, plus Z to the power of minus 1 divided by 2. Then we can rewrite uh, this as Although it is the, not the only method, in this pencast we focus on the root method. To apply the root method, we need to find the roots of the numerator and the denominator. The first thing we can do is to factor out uh, z to the powers of minus 1 and rewrite this as a second order uh, polynomial in z. Then we can find the roots of uh, the numerator and denominator, which are given by 0 0.2 and 5 for the numerator, and 0 0.5 and 2 for the denominator. And now that we have found the roots, we can also rewrite this in, a, in this way. Now, let's recall for a second the constraints we have for our innovation filters. And these are that the filter is minimum phase and the first filter coefficient is equal to 1. So, ideally, we want to rewrite our power spectral density in this form, where this part is the uh, input noise variance, this part is our innovation filter L of Z, and notice that because we write it in this form with 1 minus the 0 at the numerator and 1 minus uh, the pole at the uh, denominator, 
This means that the first filter coefficient is 1. And finally, this part is uh, the L uh, of z to the power of minus uh, 1. Finally, for the innovation filter to be minimum phase, we want alpha and beta to be within the unit circle. Looking at our case, we can easily see that this part has the poles and zeros within the unit circle, while this part has poles and zero outside the unit circle. So this can be easily rewritten as uh, in this way, which leads us to the final uh, solution of the problem, because writing uh, the system as such, we can see all the parts of the uh, spectral factorization. We see that the 0 0.4 is the uh, variance of the input noise, that this part is our innovation filter, which is causal, stable, and minimum phase, and this part is L of z to the power of minus 1.